Hello all, so in this video we are going to see how can we transpose records from rows to columns with and without using Java transformation. Alright, so our scenario is like this. So this is my source table, student marks. Basically it has uh, student information as well as uh, corresponding subjects and marks of, per of that particular subject. And this is my target table. So if I run these guys together, so my data set is something like this. So in my source tables, the subjects are uh, divided or subjects are on particular row like each subject has their separate row biology maths physics and when student name changes again biology maths physics it repeats however on my target table the subjects are at column level all right so that's the reason why in source you have six rows whereas in target you just have two rows so we are like uh, converting subjects or row, rows to columns all right so that transpose we are doing so let's first understand how can we achieve that using java transformation so let me go ahead and create a mapping so what i will do let me rename the mapping first m underscore rows to column transpose all right let me select the source. I will just mention that source here. All right, and there is nothing much we have to do here. This is all fine. Now, uh, when for Java transformation, what we'll do is we'll create a row when the subject gets changed. So what I will do, I will just add a sorter in between. I will first sort the data by student and then by subject. And whenever the subject gets changed, so whenever uh, the subject comes as physics, I will create a row. All right. So as I said, let's add a sorter. Where uh, is sorter? right incoming fields target fields oh. sort based on two columns all right the first column has to be student id second column has to be subject perfect now let's add java transformation in between now for java transformation what i will do uh, I will first declare variables int var maths. So here I will store this variable. I will store maths uh, physics. Physics actually we don't need and biology. So in these two variables, I will store corresponding values, right? So let's say here if so my subject dot equals if my subject is maths in that case the variable which i have declared where maths equal to marks so i else if my subject is biology I will consider this as biology else if that's the last one physics physics in that case uh, I need to create outfields as well, three outfields, O underscore maths, integer, O underscore physics, integer, O underscore biology, integer. Perfect. And let me go back to my Java transformation. And as I said, when the subject is physics, then where 
max uh, this supposed to be let's say biology where biology and for physics since it's a current row because uh, we are under physics right the subject then I will just simply add marks and then generate row I mean I can just copy it from here perfect let's compile it let me yeah okay so there is some error class interface or enum expected line 5 uh, what did I do wrong here oh okay I should have added this but that's the import clause I should have added it here compile it got compiled successfully so far so good what I will do now I will select the target target supposed to be student marks 2 let me go back I will truncate the target so that let me go to so let me auto map with exact fields and maths physics biology save it run it so this is one way of doing it hopefully I have done everything correct and we'll see two rows processed perfect all right just validate once again so 50 60 40 biology maths 50 60 40 and 70 90 physics 80 okay perfect this all looks good so we completed one scenario now what we'll do other than java transformation there is another way rather much simpler way than java transformation because you don't need to add all that coding so I will just get rid of this Java transformation, get rid of this sorter transformation. Now what we'll do is we'll add, let me add the expression. The kind of logic is similar. The way we declared separate variables in Java transformation, right? For each maths, physics, biology. Similarly, in expression transformation, we'll declare three out parameters, right? O underscore maths integer. Uh, o underscore let's say physics integer and the last one O underscore let's say biology that's the integer all right uh, let me save this guy now let's execute this let's preview it preview the data so we'll come to know how the data looks like Oh, mapping is not in valid state so that's fine let me add let me connect to this target right for time being and let me save it mm -hmm. and let's preview it. validation panel there is some some wow it is failing validate oh, okay because I haven't added the configure okay let me see so now thing is since I have declared out parameter as uh, o underscore maths that means it will store values for math subject right so what I will do if the subject equals to maths in that case store marks all right validate okay let me add that one step i forgot let me so if subject equals physics 
perfect and the last one if subject equals biology okay so far so good and let me now let's see the preview All right. Now, if you see here, right? So the first row came. Okay. When the subject was maths, it got assigned as 60. When second row came for physics, it got assigned as 40 and for biology. So there are still three rows. All right. And there are three separate columns we got the way we, we transpose it. Okay. Rows, we transpose it to column. However, now we have to aggregate th these three records so that we'll get only one row. Okay now how can we aggregate it so let's assume we can aggregate see all these three values are same right name and subjects are same okay we don't need this marks we we are interested only in these three columns okay now if we if we group by these two columns right student id name and subject we cannot group by this because that will give again same number of rows so we have to aggregate these three columns on what basis will aggregate now these two columns right these two rows we don't need so if i take maximum i will get 60 if i take maximum of physics i will get 40 and if i take max of biology i will get 50 so that means we'll have to group by by three these three columns and we have to aggregate that is a max based on these three columns okay let's do do that so the only way to aggregate is do the aggregation is aggregator perfect okay, why this is not going away okay so go to properties group by so as I said uh, we have to group by based on student ID that's the common one and let's say we have we need to three aggregate port ADD AGG okay, O underscore AGG maths let's say teacher Maths, physics, and the last one, biology. Integer, perfect. I'll configure it. That is O maths, and I will give max. Validate. Looks okay. That is physics. So O underscore or maybe use this guy, validate and the last one biology, perfect, alright, so let's connect these O underscore AGG ports to target because the port names got changed, now unmap 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 so I am supposed to connect these guys save let me just truncate the data come on T R U N T R U N C L T all right run run perfect all right so it's exactly the same reason so basically in this video we saw how can we transpose rows 
two columns using Java transformation and even without using Java transformation. So if you don't want to use the Java transformation, basically you'll have to add extra ports and you have to, basically it's kind of a case statement and then you do the aggregation. All right. So add the aggregate. Right. So thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video.